Well, today we are going to be messing around with this thing again. Um, I found several cracks in the handle for this thing. Well, not in the handle itself, uh, but in the position here. I haven't really flattened this thing out enough since it's made out of oak and it's very difficult to get it flat. Uh, but I did manage to fill some of these holes with the super glue. Since it's a very flowing glue. There's one. You see it? Uh, these teeth are actually from the blade itself. I completely ground them down here. I kept them here to give a little bit of grip for glue. I did not have any epoxy, which I was supposed to use, but I just didn't have it when I was making it. I do now, and I'm going to be using it for the sheath for this thing. I'm going to be making a laminated sheath um, for this because of the thin blade and the incredibly sharp edge. I can't use leather. I could but I would have to reinforce it like hell. And I honestly don't feel like spending nearly nearly ten, twenty dollars on a sheath. Just get that reinforced, so I got this massive bag of sticks. This is basically just firewood. You use this as kindling. We'll get a few of these. They're nice and flat pieces. This is the sort of stuff your school most likely buys for tech class to use as construction to use as construction materials uh, one important thing to note is if you're going to use this to make a sheath I've done a couple of these I've done a little bit of lamination with this discard stuff that looks like this this is not going to hold this is crap uh, also a recommendation is to discard any one that's bent like this that one's good it's a slight bend on it but it's good they're slightly bent because I've been laying with weight on them all this time. That one's perfectly straight, so that one's extra good. Oh, that one's so good. Notice that this one doesn't have any knots or anything in it, making it exceptionally good. It doesn't even have a color, color change in it. This one's not quite as good with nice as the, these color changes and stuff, but when you oil this, it actually looks quite nice. I think this is hickory or something, um, I am not quite sure, but it looks like hickory. Oh, let's go some more. That was also good. That one is also good, but it has these nice, annoying color changes. What these color changes mean is that any change to a darker color means the wood is getting harder. And if the wood is harder, it's more difficult to work, so I'm going to have to use this as a centerpiece, which I don't have to work with very much. That's a little trick to know if you buy a note, if you buy this sort of stuff. Um, wood chopped up into this sort of sticks. This one's perfectly straight. That's amazing. No, no defects, really. There's only a tiny bit of wood darkening right there. So it's very good. Okay, so in general, we got three, two, maybe three pieces of chain, uh, three... Uh, let me just go through them here. Uh, these two. We have two pieces of serious change. Notice how it's a nice flowing pattern there. Some people like this pattern. Uh, I do too. It's a very beautiful pattern. Uh, but I don't like it when it comes to working with the wood. If we were to just lacquer this, oil and lacquer it, it would be a beautiful piece just to hang, ha have hanging on your shelf because it looks so nice. But if you're going to work with it, it's a nightmare. Um... Oh, and by the way, let's see if I can find that one. Ah, there it is. This is a prime example of perfect working material. All the fibers, or you can't really see it on the camera since the camera is not the best. It's not bad, but it's not the best either. Uh, it's my phone after all. Now, if you can't really notice it, but all the fibers are straight, uh, mostly. There's not any serious curves or warps in the wood, making this an incredibly easy to work one. And it's also very bright, making this incredibly flexible. You can see it like that. Flexible as hell. Strong. I'm putting my entire arm's weight on that right now. And my arms are pretty heavy. The thing is still. No oh shit, I bent it. Perfect. Now, it's strong, it's easy to work, it's light, yeah. In any case, 
you don't want to work with this. You, you want to keep this in a place where you're not going to mess with it too much because this is going to crack. This is going to crack and it's going to split and shred and bleh, you just don't want to work with it. This, nice to work with, use it on the edges. Ah, for din skull. For honom. Yeah. Okay, um, you know what? I just realized, uh, I just went through the wood that you might wanna, might not wanna use. The good thing, I'm just gonna go through a quick one, quick little more before I cut one out because I've called dad apparently, because he's a complete dumbass. Um, yes he is, I'm not even exaggerating, he is a dumbass. Now, the thing to note is, you might want to be using some wood cut into this thickness. This is about 2 millimeters thick. So this one's in all this metal here, it's about, about 2 millimeters too. So you're going to end up with something that's 6 millimeters thick, about the width of this. Possibly a little bit, nah, you're going to end up with something a little bit thinner than the handle. But the good thing about working with something like this is that you can alter, you can alter the shape of the sheath to custom fit something like this. Um, you might want to use wood glue for this, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to rug up the surfaces and use the epoxy. Um, I, up there I have some 8 hour epoxy, just gonna tell you, I'm gonna use super glue for the edges, for the tips, and then use epoxy for the middle, uh, just to keep it from falling apart, and this is just gonna take small amounts of pressure anyway, and then I'm gonna coat the thing in epoxy and paper, uh, that might, <laughs> in epoxy and cloth I mean, it might not seem so strong, but it's strong as hell, I made a wooden sword, you can see it in there, it's a tiny little white dab in between the... Uh, air gun and the masses stick there to the left to the right there's a tiny little white white streak in there that's my sword it's laminated <sighs> now okay uh, now that I've gone through that and how I'll be doing this I'll be back when I finish talking to my dad which is probably gonna be sometime tonight and then I'm gonna start getting getting going with this <coughs> seeing ya